let us see about DSP architecture. While we are seeing the general purpose DSP architecture, it is a high speed microprocessor with architecture and instruction sets optimized for DSP operations and also it includes the fixed point processes such as Texas instruments that is ends with C5X series and Motorola and also fixed point processes such as Texas instruments it ends with C54 and C67 and also analog devices. While we are going for the special purpose this digital is signal processing, it comes with the hardware that is the design for specific DSP algorithms such as F50 and hardware design for specific applications such as PCM and filtering. While we are moving on to the architecture, the architecture is broadly classified into own human architecture, hardware architecture and VLIW architecture. Now we can see the first one, this is the own human architecture. In 1946, John von Neumann developed the first computer architecture that allowed the computer to be programmed by codes residing in memory. Program instructions were stored in read-only memory. It also um, it is used in majority of microprocessors and it is a computer with no Neumann, no Neumann architecture and the CPU can be either reading an instruction or, or, or reading and writing data from to the memory. Both cannot occur at the same time since the instruction and the data are using the same signal pass pathways on memory and it can have three buses that is the data bus, address bus and control bus. This is the own human architecture block diagram. It can have CPU, clock, memory or data, the program data and the peripherals. But we are going for the buses, the first one is data buses. It transport data between the CPU and the peripherals. It is bi-directional that is the CPU can read or write data in the peripherals. The address bus, the CPU uses the address bus to indicate which peripherals is want to access and within each peripherals its specific instant registers. And also the, the, the address bus is in direction in unidirection and the CPU always writes the address which is read by the peripherals. And the control buses, the bus carries the signal that are used to manage and synchronize the exchanges between the CPU and its peripherals and to indicate if the CPU. And the main characteristics of this von Neumann architecture are it possesses only one bus system and the same bus system carries all the information exchanging between the CPU and peripheral including the insertion ports as well as the data processed by the CPU. And next one is the hardware architecture. The term hardware it is originated from the hardware mark our I relay based computer which stored instruction on punch tape and data in real layer latches. The hardware architecture physically separates memories for their instruction and data and also require the dedicated buses for each of them and the instructions and operands can be fetched simultaneously. In most of the DC DSP processor, it is uses the modified hardware architecture with two or three memory buses on alloy access to filter the provisions and the input in this side since uh, by using the single clock cycles. And also it possesses two independent bus system and the hardware architecture is capable of simultaneously reading an instruction code or reading or writing and memory or peripherals as a part of the execution of the previous instruction. And also there are two memories and it is not possible for the CPU to mistakely um, the, the mistake to read writes course into the world program course and also compute the course while it is processing and it is less flexible and it needs two independent memory banks then these two resources are not interchangeable and this is the block diagram for this harder architecture why here we are seeing the modified hardware architecture it uses the DSP multi port memory that has separate bus systems for mem program memory and data memory and also input and output peripherals. It may also have multiple bus system for program memory alone or for data memory alone. Now we can see about the VLIW architecture that is the third one. The new architecture has attracted a great goal of attention in the DSP community for by using the very long instruction that is the word processing increases the number of instruction that are processed per circuit cycle. VLIW architecture executes multiple instructions or cycles and use simple regular instruction sets. While we are seeing this VLIW architecture, it can solve the read a large group of instructions also executes them at the same time. It combines many simple instructions into the single long instruction word that uses the different registers. 
a language compiler or preprocess separate program instruction into the basic operands that are performed by the processor in parallel these operations are placed into a very long instruction code that are processed and can be disassembled and then transfer each operation to an appropriate execution unit this is the architecture of vliw architecture and while we are going for the advantages it increases the performance better compiler targets and potential easier to program and also potentially scalable and can add more execution units allow more instruction to be packed into the vliw architecture when we are seeing the disadvantages <coughs> a new kind of programmer a compiler complexity program must keep track of instruction schedule increase memory use and hyper consumption and misleading yeah my bs ratings thank you